Hello guys, this is Linus, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. I'm in the fields today and I want to get an answer to a question. Can these two nice little pieces of equipment, the power amplifier micro PA50 and mini automatic antenna tuner CGJ100 work together? They connecting nice together, but can they work? So, spoiler alert, they really can't, but why? Stay tuned. The antenna behind me here is my favorite field antenna, and it's a Zulu Sierra 6 Bravo Kilo Whiskey. Uh, there is a link in the description to the full review of this antenna. Inside, we have the one-to-one -one balloon which makes, you know, this symmetrical antenna uh, work with the non-symmetrical power amplifier or the antenna tuner. So the one-to-one -one balloon is connected to the windows line, 450 ohms, and it stretches for something like three meters until the mast, and then up to the mast it goes up, you know, for another, another maybe some nine meters. And there we see the antenna itself connected to the to the feeder line and the antenna is comprised of two parts roughly 14 meter long each this antenna in this case is a very good antenna to make tests on on the equipment of, of today which i'm testing now the micro pa50 and cgj100 antenna tuner because on some bands zs6 bkw antenna uh, needs no tuner at all so you just plug in and it works on five bands on some bands it does take a tuner so in this way with this one antenna i can check both situations all right so now i'm on 20 meters Okay, another station, ON6 Papa Quebec on the band. It releases around 46 watts. And I have ICOM IC705 connected to the micro PA50 and micro PA50 is connected to uh, mini antenna tuner CGJ100. On 20 meter band, this antenna does not require a tuner so the tuner is bypassed now and only only the micro pa50 is connected straight to the uh, to my icom ic705 i only you know need some 4.5 watts of input into this amplifier in order to release around 50 watts of output on some other bands, like on 80 meter bands, I only need 1.8 watts of uh, input power, which is just amazing, you know. I can run on the battery of ICOM IC705 for probably hours and hours, uh, running like, you know, up to two watts of output only. And um, the power amplifier in my case is fed by a separate iron phosphate battery. It only takes six amps, uh, you know, at 50 watts of output, which is also pretty nice. All in all, you know, I can have a very nice compact station, you know, with a very good quality receiver and uh, 50 watts, 40 to 50 watts, you know, of stable output uh, on, on all bands, basically. What is important in this case the transceiver which you use you know with this uh, micro pa50 amplifier needs to be uh, able to regulate the output power like you know in in, in one watt steps preferably because uh, the micro pa50 is uh, a very basic construction a very basic design of power amplifier 
and the transistors which are in there uh, very cheap and, and yet yet good transistors but they are not designed for RF you know <laughs> power they are just kind of a switching transistors able to work nicely in the on HF too but still uh, the peculiarity of this uh, amplifier is that that you know you need to adjust uh, the power input on each band in order not to overload the amplifier if you do overload you know then then you get the distortions whatever whatever uh, there is a plenty of different you know alarms and switches and safeguards built in here automatic switches in other words when the power output reaches more than 50 watts the computer built into micro pa50 automatically switches the amplifier off the same goes with the over swr and here when it comes you know to swr and ability to work with the automatic antenna tuner here we have a problem so now for the sake of experiment uh, i put the mode into rtty on 80 meter band so it's empty band now in the daytime rtty because you know rtty mode gives gives a steady carrier very good for testing so uh, the power output is 1.8 watts from icom ic705 so the cdj is on micro pa50 is on i press ptt all right you see what happens so the alarm system switch kicks in because of too high swr 5.8 so we can switch it off so what actually happened the cdj 100 the antenna tuner got power from the power amplifier started tuning very successfully that's fine so the cdj 100 started tuning process and then during the tuning process uh, the swr during the process of seeking the best combination of uh, capacity and inductance in the tuner so during this short moment the swr was let's say as it showed 5.8 to 1 and that was of course too much for the micro pa and the alarm kicked in and that's it you cannot avoid uh, with the automatic antenna tuners you know this the basic principle like you know uh, the computer in the antenna tuner is you know selecting one by one at very high speed the the right combination of inductance uh, and the capacity so and during this process you you do have high swr peaks the another computer which sits in the micro pa50 is quick enough to catch this high swr and switch the power amplifier off putting a long story short you can bypass the limitations by pressing the white button for eight times but it's only the high power limitation that you can bypass the high swr limitation you cannot it stays and works even in all limitations off mode and the problem is the swr metering in uh, micro pa50 and this is not the old problem, you know. This is a new, the newest version of firmware, 2.8. The, there's no old problems with SWR metering with this micro PA50, which is which used to be when it was, you know, uh, some erratic measurement and it was not possible actually to, to run it with an antenna, even 1.5 to 1 SWR. Uh, so now, now this is fixed. And now it, it, it measures the SWR nicely. Uh, the limit is two, two to one, and then the alarm kicks kicks in and the, the power amplifier switches off. There could be a bypass, like you know, uh, you first uh, you know switch switch the micro PA50 off, and in this way you bypass, which is very good function. You can bypass this amplifier, so you you switch it off. So it still shows, you know, SWR metering function is, is, is still works, but the amplifier does not. Amplifier is bypassed 
and then you could, you know, run uh, like uh, 5 watts or 10 watts from, uh, from your transceiver uh, to the automatic tuner, tune it, and then, you know, reconnect the power amplifier into the chain. But the reason is, with this popular and otherwise very good CGJ100 antenna tuner, that it does not work uh, with power input power less than 5 watts. All right, you say, if I have an output 10 watts from my IC705 when it's fed from the outside battery, which is the case, then it's fine. But what happens, you know, if the SWR is pretty high, like say 3 to 1, right, or 4 to 1 in the transceiver, and the power is reduced automatically to less than 5 watts, like maybe 2 watts or, or, or 3 watts, and then this is not enough for the CGJ100. You probably could use another automatic antenna tuner, which is able, you know, um, to work, to start working from one watt probably, and still being able to handle 100 watts or, or at least 50 watts in this case. So if you know such a such a tu antenna tuner, please leave a comment again in the comment section. That would be very interesting. The cure of this problem would be, you know, allowing the SWR metering. Uh, to be switched off or bypassed. So if I could, then probably it would be okay, you know, just uh, you, you, you give something like maybe 10 or 20 watts uh, from, uh, from the power amplifier to the CGJ100 antenna tuner, and then it's fine. The tuner tunes in, the, in you know, in a half of a second probably. It's not likely that, you know, these transistors kick uh, the bucket to just, you know, some microsecond of very high SWR. I don't believe this. It would be okay, at least for the, uh, for the moment when you need to tune the antenna. So then you can get back to the, to the limitation and safeguarding function, so why not? Uh, but as it is now, uh, my favorite antenna tuner and my favorite uh, power amplifier, they cannot work together. That's a pity. So guys, with this said, thanks for watching. Please leave your comments in the comment section and see you in my next videos. 73, this is Linus, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. Cheerio.